The internet is filled with videos on tiny little rituals to do to change your life. Now, I know I'm following in this same cheesy vein of videos, but I thought I would share five less common rituals that I use and I have used in the last two years with this pandemic that have made the biggest difference in my life and have helped a lot with my personal development. What's up, you guys? Alex Hine here. Now, before we jump into this video, there's a very important link right below it. If you're into self-growth and you're into working on your life and working on yourself, I have a free journaling worksheet that will help you figure out what to do with your life and how to plot out the most ideal dream life going forward. So that journaling worksheet is free below this video. Just enter your email there and you'll snag it. So tiny daily ritual number one, don't use your phone the first hour of your morning or really any technology. Because when you wake up and you're tired and you want to just get on your phone and go through the news or go through Instagram, you miss a really important window to prime your day. So if you just don't use technology the first hour of the day, you even set a timer, which is what I do. And then all you do is do a deliberate morning routine. For me, what I do is I spend 20 minutes doing Qigong or breathing exercises. For you, that could be going for a walk outside, doing some physical exercise, or just preparing your breakfast or making a cup of coffee. So for me, the first part is always getting blood flow going. The second part is, as I'm making my morning oatmeal or my morning breakfast or my morning tea, I turn on an audiobook and I listen to it for another 20 minutes. So as I'm going about my day, brushing my teeth, whatever it is, taking a shower, making food, I'm listening and priming my brain, usually with self-growth material or whatever it is my number one or number two or number three goal is that I'm working on. And then finally from there, as I eat breakfast, I look at my little goal board and I look at my little notebooks and I review the plan I have for reaching those goals and those dreams. So you imagine that's what gets done in that first 45 minutes or an hour of the morning versus looking at a whole bunch of Instagram pictures. Daily ritual master the day habit number two is listen or watch, read your Bible every day. When I say your Bible, I don't mean literally the Bible unless you want to. What I mean is there are certain works in the world that have this perennial quality to them. I was talking to one of my mentors, this Chinese medicine doctor, and he said, when I was asking him about, oh, have you read this book or that book or that book? And he said, why read a hundred lesser books when you could read one by the master? And that kind of said it all, right? There are going to be books in your life. And for me, that's The Strangest Secret by Earl Nightingale that have this perennial, evergreen, immortal truth to them about how to live a better life. And for a lot of people, that's religion. But for me, my religion is really self-growth, personal development. So I listened to this audiobook, The Strangest Secret by Earl Nightingale. And many days, I just re-listened to that 30-minute recording over and over and over again. Because the truth is so self-evident in that talk that I don't need to be listening to a hundred other audiobooks. This one encompasses a core message that impacts me deeply. So what is that for you? Tiny daily ritual number three to master the day is read a daily self-growth book about one of your major goals. So a couple of years back, I decided that I really wanted to work on being better in relationships. And so I decided that over the next year, I crowdsourced the best relationship and marriage and love books, dating books from my friends and family and strangers on the internet. And I wrote down this master list of about 40 or 50 books. And each night I dedicated one hour a night to reading one of these romance and relationship books, basically how to be better in love, essentially. So for me, I turned this abstract goal, better relationships into something concrete and tangible. One hour a day, reading and studying and taking notes on relationship books. In my experience, this is one of the fastest ways to change your life because you're acquiring new valuable skills and new mindsets that the information is all readily available, but you're dedicating the time in a tiny, daily disciplined way. The fourth tiny daily ritual is to keep a daily self-growth log. All this is, is basically <laughs> the Julia Cameron morning pages version of self-growth, right? So let's say, for example, your goal is to lose weight or get fit. And in the morning, you're writing down, you know, I really want to lose an extra 20 pounds, or I really want to be more toned and muscular, and I want to be more lean, and I want to be able to bend down and tie my shoes and not feel embarrassed or feel weird. I want to be able to run to the bus when I'm late and not be out of breath, 
or do a Spartan race with my friends and not feel embarrassed. In my opinion, you're a lot more likely to make the right decision when you go to Starbucks 30 minutes later on the way to work than the wrong one if you keep this daily intention log. So to me, a daily journal like this is about intention, right? It's almost that idea of whatever your brain thinks about all day long is probably going to happen in your life. If all day long you're thinking about healthy eating, wellness, I want to feel well, I want to sleep well, I want to lose some weight, I want to get fit. When you go to Starbucks on the way to work, you're a lot less likely to get the muffin than berry cup or the fruit cup, whatever it is. Because you were just thinking about this 30 minutes before and so you're saturating your mind with the thoughts that you want. So for me, a daily log like that is about intention. The last powerful daily ritual for me is creating your masterwork. Around the time where I had really gotten into self-growth, I had all these resources because I was consuming too much material. She said this, he said that, the guru said that, Jesus said that, Buddha said that. So after a couple years, I sat down and I created this little moleskin notebook that I pretentiously call the masterwork. And all it is, is the most impactful passages from interviews, from books, from religious and holy texts, and my own thoughts. So the point of it is that instead of having to consume all this material or consume all these books, I've created a synthesis of the ones that really hit me the most profoundly. And so this masterwork is a little 150 page moleskin journal. And all it is, is the passages that really affect me. So I know that if I open that to any page, there's going to be a couple pages in there that are going to really hit me and put me in the right state of mind. And for me, I want to be in the right state of mind for growth and limitless possibilities and the possibility that life can always get better. And the way I've done that most effectively is by synthesizing everything into one little notebook. So I always know the one place to go and there's never confusion about all this information or where do I go next. All right, guys, that is five daily rituals that can help you master the day. These are things that have really, really helped me that I don't think a lot of people do on a daily basis. They usually don't take a lot of time, but they're definitely worth checking out. All right, before you go, I also have the free journaling worksheet below this video that will help you kind of get started on this path and reinvent yourself and that kind of thing. And then before you guys go, I want you to just leave a comment and let me know what habits this year have impacted your life the most. I want to know and I want to hear from you. All right, check out these other videos here before you go.